statistics. And uh, allegedly, according to Alabama law, I have a sealed file there. Um, since, you know, Catholic Social Services doesn't want to do what they say they're supposed to do. So this is the only other option that our attorney gave us. And so we are making a last minute trip there to just turn the stuff in, pop in person while I'm in the state. So Keep the record unsealed. The record unsealed. Wish this had vodka or tequila in it. No, you don't. I'm not the one driving. So hopefully this is all the information that we'll need. Keep you updated. All right, so we're here in downtown Montgomery at the RSA Tower. We just dropped up all the information and went ahead and paid the $40 to uh, get my original birth certificate pre-adoption. We have to come back in 45 minutes while they go and do the search for it. So now I'm gonna try and find somewhere to not have a panic attack at. And hope and pray when they find my sealed file, there's plenty of stuff in it to answer some of these questions. So it's a lot to deal with. It's a lot of shit to deal with. I'm trying to keep it together and not cry. Um, if I have everything. Not opening it until I get home and I can be with both of my parents. But there's a, a large file that they gave me. So um, I've already started crying and I'm probably gonna cry for the next hour home. So, all right. Got everything that they legally have and had to give me, so. All right, um, of course I'm back in Bruton. Uh, I had to come down here because my grandfather passed away, but we've known something for a few weeks. And that is that I found my biological mother. We found her. Um, immediately went home after sitting at this very table to discuss um, what we found here. Uh, with my therapist and uh, my therapist and I were having two sessions a week just trying to get through everything um, and one of the things that my therapist challenged me to do was to sit down and to write a letter to my biological mother. And that was really difficult to do. Um, it wasn't a letter that like I was writing to send. It was just a letter of like, this is what my life has been like. This is who I am. This is everything about me. And it took me a couple of weeks to write it and then read it to my therapist. And after a lot of work with her over the last about month, it's time to send the letter.
I don't know why, but I just feel like I want to pray over this letter. Um, dear Jesus, thank you so much for today and thank you for who you are. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the ability to find my biological mom, to know that she's alive, to know that she's well. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the opportunity to be able to send her this letter. And I hope, Lord, that it finds her well. I hope it gives her whatever type of closure she may need. And I pray that it is in your will that she and I can form a relationship together. I thank you, Lord, for her. I thank you for her heart. I thank you for her life. And I thank you, God. I thank you for putting me in the Weaver family. Pray, Lord, that you would just be with me as I continue on in this journey. Continue to guide my footsteps. Continue to comfort my heart. And continue to ease my mind. I ask all this in your name. Amen. All right, I'm at the post office in my hometown, and it's time to mail this puppy. Um, I'm gonna also require a signature, I think, so then I can at least like be notified that she's received it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna drop this puppy in the mail, ask that it has to be signed for so I can you know, be given receipt that she, in fact, got it. So, I'm like shaking. I know you can probably see like the camera shaky. I'm, I'm shaking. Oh, God. I counted and there's 22 photos in here, plus a letter. So, my biological mother is about to find out that I know who she is, and she's gonna learn a little bit about me and what happened because of her and her selfless decision. So let's get this, let's get this baby mailed. <laughs> You're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away.